Hey guys, how's it going? John with you, and uh, time for a Vlogmas video. Actually, this is kind of a combination. It's kind of a Vlogmas, a haul, and what do you call those? Mukbang, mukbang video? Those ones where you watch people eat. That was kind of a thing for a while. I don't know if that's much of a thing now, but I was never really crazy about those. I think it's kind of gross to watch people eat a lot, but apparently I think it's kind of like some people find it very either arousing, I don't know, or enjoyable, like, they, it's like they're sitting around having dinner with someone. Anyway, I've just come back from Ross because I had to make a run to Ross today. And on the way back, I mean, I had lunch uh, a chicken curry katsu, so good. And uh, then I stopped at Dean and DeLuca on the way back for a latte and a mango scone, which we're gonna eat while I'm chatting. And we'll get to the haul. First, let me just tell you a little bit about, it's been a little bit busy around here past week, few days. Um, as you might know, if you watch my other videos, I am on the um, committee that puts on the Miss Hawaii USA and the Miss Hawaii Teen USA pageant, preliminaries to Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, Miss Universe. Um, and I ended up being more involved in what was happening than what originally was supposed to happen. I am on the committee and we're normally very involved in all of that, but this year because of COVID, it's been totally different the way the pageant is. Um, so like we have, uh, what she, they did, she did this year, the director was sort of to divide up the contestants uh, on Oahu amongst the staff. Now the, the neighbor island contestants have their own director, so that's their person. Uh, but she organized us into groups and we each had like five or seven or something uh, contestants that were our mentorees. So we were like the mentor, they were the mentorees, so if they had any questions about something or something they weren't sure about or they needed to be reminded about something, we as the mentors were the person that, um, you know, we were that person, the contact point really. And also if, if they requested, if they reached out, if they requested, you know, you could help them with things or answer questions or do things to assist them, you know. And it's totally up to the contestants whether they contacted their mentor or not or dealt anything with them. So I had two teens in my group that um, they didn't reach out to me and whatever, and that's fine. Um, they, you know, because sometimes people, they have their own people they're working with and that's fine. And I guess they didn't have any questions about their paperwork or whatever. But I had five missed contestants and all five of them did reach out to me and I worked with all five of them. And um, some of them I worked with quite a bit. Some of them I knew from previous years. There was a couple that had run before that I already kind of knew. And then, uh, but the new people also you know, reached out to me and I worked with, worked with all of them. Like I worked with them on, I love interviews, working on interviews and, and current, you know, keeping up on current events and talking about things that are happening because your final questions are usually current events based. Your interview is usually personality, like your bio, things about you, judges interview. And then the, what you see on stage is usually the final questions are generally like social issues or political things. So you have to kind of, be able to deal with that. Mm. I hooked all the girls that I worked with up with, uh, I have a couple of friends who are like stylist, coaching people also, and I connected them with the ones that I thought personality wise they would go well with or that they would like them. And it sort of became a personal goal of mine that I wanted all five of my girls to make the top ten. Like that was just in my miss that I had worked with. I'm like, I want, I want all five to make the top ten. <laughs> um, but anyway, then the night before, everything we, this year that's been so different is that it's we are doing a live television show, but really only 
the top 10 are going to be in the venue for the final show because of COVID. We have restrictions on how many people can be. There'll be no live audience. It's a television show, right? Um, so we had to pre-tape everything, the competition with all like 20 Miss and 23 or 22 teens. So we taped everybody's, you know, swimsuit competition. We taped everybody's evening gown competition. Um, and then they had their private judges interviews, which we were able to do in person. Mm. And then the judges vote on the top 10. <laughs> but the show is not happening until Wednesday is the teen and Thursday is the miss. So they won't be like the live television part with the top 10 um, won't be is publicly announced won't be until then. So but all this footage of everyone will be used for, you know, the first half of the show will be you'll see all the contestants in swimsuits and evening gowns, opening number just like you normally would. And then they announce the top 10 and it's actually only the top 10 who are in the venue. So I do know we do know who the top 10 are to the, the committee and the mentors because we had to, you know, contact people and let them know if they were in the top 10 or not, because if they're not in the top 10, they don't go to the final show. And I did not want to make any calls that were like, I'm sorry, but you didn't make it um, to the missed contestants that I had worked with. I really, really was motivated for them to all make it. I can't tell you what happened, whether they made it or not, I can't tell you. Confidentiality agreements, but the show is on um, when Wednesday is the teen and Thursday is the Miss K H O N T V. They are streaming it both shows, so you can go to K H O N whatever K H O N T V dot com or K H O N dot com whatever, and uh, anywhere in the world you should be able to watch it if you want to. Mm. So she texted me like. I wasn't supposed to have anything to do with it, right? Because most of the committee this year, normally we're involved in everything, but because of the limitations on staffing and people that can be at certain places, we've just been mentoring and that's like all that the committee is doing is just mentoring. Normally we're doing a bunch of other stuff, but that's all we're doing. Um, so, I got a call from the director the night before the interviews were supposed to happen with the judges and she was like, uh, I kind of, forgot I didn't realize I didn't really make anybody a point or have anybody to be the timekeeper for the judges because somebody has to sit and keep the time and make sure that they're four minutes and they don't you know everybody has the same amount of time and she asked if I would be willing to do it which of course like duh of course she knew I was gonna be like are you kidding yes hear all the interviews I mean I, I normally hear most of the interviews anyway because I assist usually with the judges but or assisting the girls back and forth from the judges' interviews to their their backstage makeup area and all of that and m making sure everybody's lined up and gets there on time. That's what I usually do, but since that wasn't happening this year, I wasn't going to be there at all. So I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, I'll sit in on all the interviews for sure. That's my favorite thing. So I saw everybody's interviews. It's great. And got to hang out, hang out at the venue here in Waikiki which is actually Luxury Row, which is a, like a little area center of high, very high end, you know, Chanel and et cetera. But one of the stores, the large corner one is vacant now. Um, I can't remember who it was, but they've converted that into, it's a three story thing and they converted it into a production studio for the pageant and it's great. It's just really great. So I saw the filming of most everything for that. So yeah, I'm excited to see how that goes. Okay. Um, so it's been a long couple of days, busy couple of days that I wasn't expecting. So it's nice today to just kind of chill out. And for the finals, I don't think I'm going at all because I don't, again, I don't have, there's no task I'm supposed to perform and it's a live show and you just definitely, it's not a big space and you don't want people, you don't need being in the way. Um, so I'll watch it on TV this year. Hmm. And I hope one of my girls wins. That would be great. So, 
I, did, I went to Ross, and you know why I went to Ross? I went to Ross for one thing, because last night at about 10 o'clock, I was shaving my head, as I have been doing for a long time, just, well, not shaving it off, but I set it like at one, the shortest, shortest thing, and just keep my hair buzz cut. I kind of like it that way. So I've just been keeping to do that. So last night, about 10 o'clock, I'm doing it. And my cheap, I just get the cheap razors, you know, whatever, electric or battery operated things from um, like Ross, wherever. They're like $12 or whatever. And this one, <laughs> while I was doing it, literally fell apart in my hands. Like it just literally disintegrated. <laughs> and the batteries fell out and the thing holding the batteries just fell all apart. And it just, the whole thing just kind of crumbled. And I'm like, mm, I guess I need a new one. But they were already closed at that point now. And uh, I couldn't. So I went to bed last night with my, it's really, that's why I'm wearing a hat, actually. Um, it's, it's like halfway shaved and halfway not, and it's all hemorrhaging looking. And it's kind of funny, actually, but I didn't want to go out in public like that. So I put on my cap and went to Ross to buy another hair cutting thing. Um, and, you know, $9.99. It's a good deal. These things are cheap, but of course they're going to fall apart in a year or whatever, but that's fine. Um, but you know how it is. You go for one thing and you end up leaving with $56, $57 worth of stuff. So that's what happened. And I could have waited until tomorrow because tomorrow is senior discount, but Ross is 10% discount, which is not like huge. And I just thought, oh, bother. Right now with the pageant, I know I'm getting calls from girls to go over current event stuff and whatever so I might be kind of busy the next few days with that too um, so I got stuff I got these jeans these are denim uh, fried denim stretch denim which I just I love stretch denim I really do and I was surprised to see these these were on clearance they're just like a khaki brownish kind of rich brownish khaki color um but stretch jeans which i love but they were reduced and they were only 4.49 i thought that's crazy they'd been reduced a couple times so i just really checked them out to make sure there wasn't like a ripped seam or something wasn't off or wrong about it but they seem fine so for like 4.50 girl i'm gonna get those okay that's a bunch of stuff uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with skinny syrups. I love them to put them in my coffee. I should have put some in this. But I have several already, but when uh, Ross has them, they're only like $3.99, so it's kind of good to grab because they have a shelf life of like 10,000 years, so it's okay if you get a bunch of backup ones. And I got this Christmas cookie. They're sugar-free, great in coffee and tea. I use them in tea too, but Christmas cookie is good because it's just a generic kind of vanilla cookie, right? So it could be any time of year, really. That would be good. Um, I'm trying tea lights. I've been just having the worst luck with tea lights dudding out of me and not being good, but I do recall having these before, and I think they were okay. This was from Ross. It was a hundred set for six ninety nine, and they're just plain white unscented tea lights. I hope they work because. I've just had bad luck with tea lights dudding out on me, no matter what kind I'm using. Uh, I got more of this stuff because uh, this is Pro Growth Hair Oil. It's a combination of different, let's see if I can actually see, different oils here. What's it got? Canola, um, castor oil, sweet almond oil, olive, sunflower. Um, cucumber grapefruit something blah 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 willow this stuff i don't care about the hair growth now because i just i want to keep it short and just cut but um this stuff is so smells so good and it feels so good to just kind of put some in your palms and spread it out in your hands and massage your head for a few minutes with it makes your hair kind of glisteny and it's it feels really good on your scalp and it's which is very healthy for it to to massage your scalp and 
it smells so good. This stuff is just, oh, it smells unreal good. So I wanted to get another one because I have one. I've hardly used any, but I wanted to get it while I have it because it was beautiful. Then they had something I'd never seen at Ross before, and I do like using them, which are those detoxifying like foot pads. Usually I order them on eBay from China. You know, they're very cheap. Um, I mean, God only knows what's in them, right? Who knows? But I just kind of, usually like every once in a while, I, every once in a while I like to take a week and just do like a tea, detox week where I drink a lot of detox tea. I'll use the foot patches. I'll give myself like foot baths with, with Epsom salts and do facial masks and drink a lot of detox tea to just sort of take a week and do that. So I think I'm going to maybe do that this week. I might start that today. I haven't done it in a little while and this sort of inspired me. These are 10 patches or five pairs. I've never seen these um, there before. They were $4.99. Uh, Linda detoxifying foot patches in green tea. So I got um, two boxes of those. You just put them on the bottom of your feet when you go to bed and sleep in them and they turn all brown and whatever. And you know, whether it really pulls toxins out of your body or whether it's just they get wet and they turn brown and it's all psychosomatic. I don't know, but even if it's psychosomatic, it works and like I enjoy it. And then they had another kind, so I got two boxes of those too. They had rose detox patches. So we have green tea and we have rose. And I actually still have some of the ones that I get from China too. I haven't gone through all of those yet. And finally, if you've been following my channel, you're going to be John. You're not supposed to buy any more of that. I am on a use it up project right now on face masks, you know, the facial masks, not the masks that we're wearing everywhere, but facial cleansing, detoxifying masks. Mm. And I'm not supposed to buy any more, but the truth of this, I'm almost done with the ones I have. I think I only have three or four more. So I really am almost done. And these I couldn't pass up because of what they were. I'm like, I got to get this now because this is probably not going to be here if I wait and come back in next week or whatever. Mm. They had several different kinds, but they're Christmas face masks. <laughs> and I had to have this one because it's peppermint. I love like mint peppermint. It's a Santa's List Vitamin C and Peppermint Sheet Mask made in Korea. Five masks and it was not that much. $3.99. I, I had to get it because it's peppermint. I know I'm not supposed to buy any more, but I just bought this. I was bad boy. I bought this one. I'm almost at the end of my other ones. I will use those ones up first before I go into this. So... But yeah, I had to get this. So my total there was $56.99. Considering I was just going to spend $9.99 on the um, hair cutting thing. But I think they were good deals. And it was stuff I, some stuff I needed. And some things that were just good deals that I will use. Okay, well. I think that's it. I hope you all are having a, lov a lovely holiday season. Um, I'm enjoying mine and I love the pageant. I'll be, love it. But as all of us are also happy when it's over <laughs> because then it's like, whew, okay, that's done for now. So, but yeah, looking forward to that this coming week. Or this week, we're in it. And enjoying the music and decorations and all that of Christmas time. So, you guys take care. I will see you all in the next video, okay?